A very good morning to all of you. Mm -hmm. I welcome you all in the class of mathematics. So let's start today's math fun. Our today's topic is from chapter 12 angles of your textbook. Before I move on with the today's lesson, first I would like to give you a quick recap of the previous lesson. In the previous lesson, we learned about when two straight lines meet at a point, an angle is formed, an angle is formed. The point at which two lines intersect each other is called vertex. There are different types of angles, namely acute, right, obtuse, straight, reflex, and complete angles. And then we learned a very important point that sum of angles on a straight line is always 180 degrees. Now come to today's, today's lesson. Our today's lesson is about how to find, uh, find unknown angles on a straight line. Today we will learn how to find out unknown angles on a straight line. So look at this example here. I, here I have mentioned four examples for you. If you look closely on example A, here we have a straight line AB in which two angles are given. One angle is 80 degree and the second angle is of 55 degree. As we just discussed that sum of angles on a straight line is 180 degree, using this formula we need to find out the unknown angle W in example A. So here we write that angle W is equal to 180 degree minus 80 minus 55 and the answer will be 45 degrees. In example B, we have given, apparently given one angle that is 60 degree. But you, if you notice closely, you will find that, that there is an angle represented by a square here in this example. And we have already discussed that, that a 90 degree angle right angle is always represented by a square between two lines. So in this case, we understand that we are actually given with two angles. One angle is 60 degree and the second angle is 90 degree. Now again, we will use the formula sum of angles. That is sum of angles is equal to 180 degree. And then we will find out the angle X, which is unknown angle using the same formula. So what we will do, we will do simple subtraction. 180 minus 60 minus 90 and the answer will be 30 degrees. So the our unknown angle is 30 degree. In example C, we have again given with two angles. One is of 8, 40 degree and the other is of 36 degree. Then we know that sum of angles equals to 180 degree. Using the formula, we will find out the unknown angle 180 degree minus 40 minus 36 and the answer would be 104 degree. In example number D, we are actually given with three given angles. So as we will use the same formula, sum of angle on a straight line is 180 degree. So we will do the simple subtraction 180 minus 22 minus 68 minus 22 and the answer will be 68 degree. From all these examples, we can easily conclude that whether how many angles are given on a straight line their sum would always be 180 degree. So we just need to do a simple subtraction to find out the unknown angle on a straight line. So let's wrap up our today's lesson. In today's lesson, we learn an angle is formed and two lines meet at a point. Then we learn at the point at which two lines intersect each other is called vertex. Then we conclude that missing angles on a straight line can be found by subtracting sum of giving angles from 180 degree. So student, this is all for today. I hope it will be helpful to complete your written work giving in your weekly assignment. Thank you.